of this craziness. We got all the trash cans in the bike lane. Trash cans in the bike lane. Trash cans in the bike lane. Whee! Here on the bike walker here. Topic of the day. Tuck your pants in. Tuck your pants in. I keep hitting all the red lights this turn here. There we go. Didn't want to hit the pedestrians. Just want to make sure it's all safe. It's actually pretty hot out. It's, uh, I don't know what it is. It's humid though. That's for sure. It's kind of warm to be wearing long pants, but I am. That's okay. That's okay. I want to go a different way home from work today, so let's go a dish way. I'm gonna go kind of up north and around. Up and around north and east. Bike lane is so in the door zone. So in the door zone. Oh. Yeah, so I want to go to Ishwa. So what's this about me saying, hey, pull your pants up. Pull your pants up, I mean your pants leg. Or actually tuck it. Maybe I should say tuck it. Well, you pull your pants up. Or you can tuck them into these socks. It's your socks, that's what I do. If you have a tendency to not have very good cycling form though, like you tend to move your calves around when you're pedaling, you still get gunk on your pants though, so tucking can work. Pulling up the pants is even better. So I'll definitely notice that. Hey, we actually we actually had a green light there, that's amazing. But, uh, yeah, I'll often find, if I go for a long bike ride, at one point or another, it's probably when I'm climbing out of the saddle like now, I end up getting, uh, chain grease on my leg. Whew. Man, this is, this road is crazy smooth. This is a really nice smooth road. Whew. I actually, uh, it's actually not that late in the day yet. Uh, I went in early this morning, so I get to leave early. So I got my eight hours in. Whew. I believe this road has a bike lane. We'll go ahead and try it. It's nice to see some sort of a bicycle infrastructure, even if it is only paint on the ground. But if you look straight ahead, this bike lane is pretty much useless because all the trash is in it. Look at this. Look at this craziness. We got all the trash cans in the bike lane. Trash cans in the bike lane. Trash cans in the bike lane. Here on. At least there's a little bit of a buffer strip to the left. Because the bike lane is uh, full up with trash cans right now. It's not so bad. It could be worse, I guess. It could be worse. Just going kind of slow because 
I'm dealing with trash cans and door zone. So. Where should bike blogger be? He should probably be further to the left. Further to the left. But I'm not, but that's alright. I actually need to make a left up here though. Let's uh, do that here. Behind us. Nobody behind us. So. Well, go up this road here. I had planned all this out like literally weeks ago, like which way I was going to go home from work. And I uh, forgot about it. <laughs> So now I don't have the instructions in my brain. So hopefully I still find my way back the way I want to go here. I can actually go through a tunnel, I think. It's so maybe over here to the right. Let's go check a look. Take a look. I think there's like a little little tunnel that goes under underground here. Or I could just keep going down the alleyway. What should I do? Should I go down the alleyway? Or should I go through the tunnel? There's a tunnel right here. Let's go take a look. Yeah, so top of the day. Top of the day is... Beep. No, top of the day is... Tuck your pants in. Tuck your pants. Tuck your pants in. Whew. All right. A neat echo, echo, tunnel, echo, tuck your pants in. Tuck your pants in. Looks like there's supposed to be lights in here, but they're not turned on right now. Oh, look at this. We got like a little viewing port here. What is this about? Look at that. I don't know. It's just like a, just like a skylight, except there's no glass or anything. What is this? It like a big hole in the wall there. Is that a drain? I guess that's a drain. Oh my gosh, one of the lights is on, I think. Look at that. Look at that. Got a little red light. That's actually on. So yeah, this comes, this pops back out over by a, um, another neighborhood over there. So now let's go back. <laughs> Since we did all this, let's go back and go down the alleyway. So we can say we did both ways today. Both ways today. I'm not sure where that, uh, where that view, where that sunlight port is coming from exactly. I feel like it's like right in the middle of the boulevard of the road above us. I don't know. Let's see if we can see it from up here. Woo wee. It's not summer yet, but man. I am getting kind of hot right now. So yeah, where is that? Where's that coming from? Let's see. Yeah, actually, I think it is on the other side of the roadway. You probably can't really see. I'll lift you up here. Just a second. You see it there? Do you see it? Actually, I think I do see it. It's that, uh, it's like that cage in the middle of the road. Interesting. <laughs> that white SUV stopped in the boulevard there. I don't know what he was up to. He was like watching me lift my bike up over the fence. Anyway, let's go down the alleyway. The alleyway. The alleyway. Somebody parked the trailer right there. Or camper. What do you call those things? The RV? Recreation vehicle? Those things are expensive. They're like as expensive as a as a starter home or a small house. I've looked it up before just out of curiosity. They ain't cheap. They ain't cheap. Especially if you wanted new. I probably wouldn't be buying new if I was going to get one of those things. But what am I talking about? I got a bike. I go everywhere by bike anyway. Whew. This is one of the cleanest, prettiest alleyways I think I've seen in a while. It's like, look how wide it is and look how clean it is. And it's got some little greenery over there and stuff. It's like, it is pretty nice. It is nice. We're not in the city proper. Maybe that's why. We're in the county. Um, 
So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna cut through the university, which is beyond here. I gotta find an exit out of the alleyway though. Let's see. Where is this gonna go? Sneak through here, right? Sneaking through, going down a one-way road. Now I shouldn't be doing that. Shouldn't be doing that. Okay, now we're good. Alright. Yeah, I'll probably pop into that neighborhood over there. We can avoid the traffic. There we go. Oh, we're gonna race the UPS truck. Oh man, he's he's gunning it. <laughs> oh man, he's going fast. He's like just slammed on that gas. He must be scared of me or something. Scared, scared, scared. Why am I on the sidewalk? I need to get off the sidewalk. Get off the sidewalk, bike blogger. Oh. All right. So continue down, down through the neighborhood. No parking tree work. That's what this little uh, police tape said. There are some tree trimming trucks driving around back in here. Whew. I will say one nice thing about this commute going this way home from work is they, uh, Got a lot of shade back here, a lot of shade. Me liking the shade. Me liking the shade. The uh, the blocks are also pretty big. The intersections aren't are pretty you know far apart from each other, and the roads are big. This is a nice area. This must be a wealthier area or something because it just seems a. Uh, pretty nice compared to some other areas because when I'm usually commuting my bike around where I live with you know the the average Joe the middle-class folk they don't have really wide roads Let's see. I'm gonna go left I think I need to backtrack a little bit this way speed bump I just saw another cyclist. He just went to the left. I need to head south. I'm going north, but that's all right. That's a lot. Another speed bump. Kingsbury. So I can take this up through the campus, I think, and then uh, hop out somewhere. I'm not sure where. A lot of pedestrians there. There we go. Alright, hopefully there was no pedestrians on the bike path here. It's a pretty wide path though. 
See, I used to go to this school years ago. They did not have this big, like, windy bike path here before. This is all new. I mean, <laughs> new within the last 10 years, huh? How is this gonna work? Let's see. I guess I go to the right. It's getting narrower though. I mean, this is like very narrow for a bike. Although it's not as narrow as uh, not as narrow as that one path I take in the downtown area where I work. It goes across. Uh, Goes across a big uh, roadway. And there's bikes. <laughs> Technically, you're not supposed to ride the bike around the, uh, around the library, so we'll avoid that. See me in the window, maybe? Yeah. Um. Alright, so I am theoretically by the library, but that's alright, because the bike path is here, apparently. Let's see. So I guess I'll just keep following this, and it will take me uh, down to the road. I think they actually call this the Centennial Greenway or something. Part of the Centennial Greenway is by the downtown uh, Clayton area where I work. Um, and it goes up to Olive Boulevard, I think. The idea is to extend it, I think, all the way to Creek Court Park or something. There's not really any bicycle symbols anymore, but oh, there they are. Just the trucks parked in the bike line. Alright. Alright. Very good, very good. Tuck up your tuck your pants, right? Pull up your pants. Don't be a, don't be a slob. Tuck up, pull up your pants. Your pants. Your pants. Your pants. Your pants. Whew. Now we're in the sun. There is a lot of trees, but not a lot of shade. All these trees are too small, I think that's the problem. Whew. I think it also has to do with where the sun is in the sky. The sun's pretty much straight above me right now. The high noon.
Alright, this is where the dorms are over here. And I need to cut a lot of this because I'm doing a lot of sitting in lights right now. That's alright. That's alright. That's really narrow right there. It's all good there. No, no. One of the weird things is that that university back there, they own a lot of the houses to the right of here too. So it looks like a residential neighborhood, but several houses back in here are actually owned by the university, which is a little strange. I don't know why they do that, but they do that. Second. One behind me. Look at all that scaffolding. I mean they had like multiple I mean that's like three stories high of scaffolding. Interesting. I guess they're doing uh tuck pointing work on that brick home or something. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Another really wide, smooth road here. Some people get on me like, hey, hi, hi, ah, you didn't stop at the stop sign. Oh my gosh. I stop a lot more than most cyclists. Gotta give me credit for that. Woo. Oh. Let's go this way. Woo. If you haven't noticed, this is like the long way home from work. My previous video, early in the morning, on my way to work, there in like 10 minutes, pretty much. Sticking to the major roads and just boom, there. And right now, I'm kind of enjoying myself because after work, kind of letting off stress. One of the great things about bike commuting, you can actually enjoy your commute. You're on a bike. Cause you're on a bike. Cause you're on a bike. 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 Definitely no shade here. Oh, man. I think that's one thing missing from Strava is, you know, that bicycling app. Find me the best route with the most shade. Typically it's gonna be residential areas. But there are definitely some streets that have more shade than others. That's for sure. Whew. Alrighty, here we go again. It's one of these deals where they'd rather you not ride your bike that way, so we'll go this way. We'll respect 
their request today. <laughs> just today though, just today. Just today. We got our pants tucked up. We got our pants pulled up. Got them tucked down, pulled up, tucked down. Pulled up, tucked down. Woo. Which way to go? Let's go right. Let's go right. Alrighty, righty, right, right. Alrighty, look at that little tiny baby stop sign. <laughs> That's a cute little stop sign. That's a cute little stop sign. Uh oh. Bumpy road. Boom, 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 boom. Bumpy road. Boom, 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 boom. Bumpy road. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, it's not that bad. <laughs> Just a little more patched up than some of those other roads, doesn't it? Boom, boom. Bum. Bum. Got a little radio tower here. Or cell tower or something. Yeah, I don't know how you tell the difference. Uh, I think it's a local radio tower because it's really short. I guess it would be a cell tower if it's really tall. Or they have like those little uh, weird looking white things, right? On top. Uh, cell towers or are those like boosters or something like they add strength to the signal or something I don't know I know nothing about the telecommunication industry I just know that we got the internet oh we'll stop saying okay. again no trees no trees it's all right it's all right we'll just roll with it we'll literally roll with it Pretty green truck there. Kind of like the color of that truck back there. I don't like the truck, but I like the color. No. <laughs> no. Wee, wee. No. no bumps there. Looked like it was gonna be bumpy, but it wasn't bumpy. Wasn't bumpy, bumpy. Bumpy, 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 bumpy. That's bumpy. There's some trees around here. No. Little bit of shade. Little bit of shade. <laughs> I don't know what that mailman was doing back there. He was like, just had his truck parked it back there and he wasn't, it didn't seem like there's anywhere to deliver mail around right back in here. I guess he's just taking a lunch break. <clears throat> Whew. Some pretty pine trees. Up. Up. Up the steep bumpy hill. The worst of both worlds. Oh. Oh no. I take that back. Steep, bumpy, and gravelly. Slippery. Oh. Up. Up. Whew. Alright, heading out. Getting out of that place. Whew. Goes the Amazon Prime truck. Whew. I can't see if the light's green from here or not. No, nah, it's red. Let's get up there before it goes green though. Oh yeah, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Try to time it just right. Let's see here. If it's not about to go green, I'll just bypass it. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't want to go green. Maybe at least 15 seconds, so let's go dish why. Since there's nobody on the sidewalk, we can ride on the sidewalk. We can ride on the sidewalk. It's okay, just for a few seconds. Just for a few seconds. There's no driveways here until, well, basically in five seconds. Yeah, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. And now there's nobody on the road. How about that? Strong. Way across all the lanes. Look at that. 
Oh, Kai, tuck your pants up. Uh, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching on Bag Blogger. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Stop sign.